Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the JRS Cars YouTube channel. In today's video, I have a vehicle that really kickstarted the segment of the premium hatchback. That, my friends, is this, the Hyundai Elite i20. In today's video, we're going to take a detailed look at the vehicle's exterior and interior design highlights, as well as give you the driving experience to tell you how this Elite i20 handles and drives on the road. Let's begin straight away. All right guys, so straight away starting with styling, this Elite i20 is really a good looking vehicle. I mean, just look at this vehicle from the front. It looks elegant, beautiful, yet slightly aggressive at the same time. From the front, we have the Hyundai logo, a really slim grille and this big air dam down below. We have these swooping headlights over here with an inbuilt eyebrow giving the car a bit of an angry look. Regular vehicles do get a normal projector setup. However, this vehicle has LED projectors. I'll show you that in a bit. We have fog lights down below and the samurai look giving the vehicle an extra sporty look. From the side, this Elite i20 is a vehicle that has absolutely zero bad proportions. I mean, look at it from the front, look at it from the back. This vehicle is really a good looking car all around. From the side, we have a nice big glass area. Do notice we have a blackened C pillar and that is stock. This vehicle additionally has a blackened mirror and blackened roof to give it a floating roof design as well as make it look more sporty. We have the power to sticker over here that adds 5 bhp. Now the Hyundai Elite i20 is one of the first cars in this segment to have a diamond cut finish. Take a look at these wheels man, 16 inch wheels, 195 55 R16 is the tire size, looks really very beautiful, gives the car a really upmarket look as well. Moving to the back now, this is a top spec Astra variant, this is a petrol vehicle. We have a KNN sticker, Evo India sticker, as well as the all important stick sticker adding 5 bhp. Do note, you see this car in Ananagar with the stick sticker, do not mess with this car. From the back too, the car looks really very good. We have a very beautiful design lights over here. And do note, this is the reverse parking camera of the vehicle. Yes, this vehicle in 2016 did have a reverse parking camera. Opening the boot, we get this massive subwoofer over here, pumps out a lot of bass. Boot space is decent, 285 liters of space. You do get a spare wheel underneath all this, but we leave it as it is for now. Overall, a bit of a small boot considering its size, but that's what you got in those days. All right guys, so when I came to review the Elite i20, we have next to it the brand new i20. So I just thought I'll add this bit of a comparison into the video. You guys tell me, this is the old Elite i20 and this is the car that replaced it. Which one looks better? Let me know in the comments below. I felt the first generation car to be a bit bland and basic in design, whereas this car, the third generation, is really overstyled and I really don't like the aggressive cuts and creases everywhere. Sharp lines are nice, but this many sharp lines on the car really give the car an awkward look from certain angles. The second gen car, or the Elite i20, what we call it, is a much more rounded, elegant and smooth design and out of all the cars, this is my favourite design. Let's now check out inside. Alright guys, so we have this dual tone finish over here, black and this brownish beige over here. Gives the car a really premium look. Let's really jump inside. Alright guys, so inside the Elite i20. The front seat has been pushed all the way in the front and as you guys can see, I do have plenty of legroom over here. Under the support is quite decent. Headroom too is adequate, I would say, for a person of my height. I am 6 foot tall. This seat has been set to my driving position and as you guys can see, you do have plenty of space over here. You also get rear AC vents. You have a light placement over here. You do not get a center armrest. And overall, the backseat experience in this car is quite nice. 
you get a bit of a scooped out seat back with the magazine holder as well and yeah i mean pretty much it's a quite a comfortable place to be and for a hatchback it is quite comfortable let's now jump to the front seat now before we go inside this is the key of the vehicle you get a smart key you also get a request sensor over here as well so talking about the front door pad you have the same dual tone finish over here as well you have your window controls your mirror controls this vehicle does have power folding mirrors that's quite cool you get door pockets as well let's jump inside all right guys let's quickly start the car we have a push button start as well all right guys so sitting in the driver seat of the Elite i20 straight away let's start with the steering now the steering is a leather wrap steering feels good to hold we have the buttons for your infotainment over here as well as taking and running phone calls and we have buttons over here for controlling the center screen as you guys can see these buttons are used for the center screen over there talking about instrument cluster we have a proper old school analog tachometer and speedometer with a multi information display in the center to the right you have your indicators on the left you have your wiper controls and overall dash design looks quite nice this vehicle despite being the last generation does look quite nice even today we have your ac vents over here we have a little bit of a basic infotainment system however when this car came out in 2016 it was quite high end we have an automatic climate control system over here we have your usb slot over there aux slot 12 volt socket over here we have a small cubby over here for your phone we have the manual gear lever handbrake and a bunch of keys over here all not for sale and in the center you do have a center armrest as well we also have a decent size glove box can hold quite a lot of things we have an auto dimming inside rear mirror and most importantly putting the vehicle into reverse the reverse camera pops up on the rear mirror this was the early days of vehicles having a reverse camera inbuilt and well i really like this feature quite nice we have your interior lights over here as well quite nice visors of course and yeah i mean overall this is really a very well built well put together car we have a lot of features in this vehicle really high end for its time and uh, let's really check out the engine bay of this vehicle the vehicle shouting at me because the key is in the pocket it says dapper over here and that's because this vehicle is really dapper looking and there we have it guys the 1.2 liter kappa engine idling very smoothly this engine produces 82 bhp and approximately 115 nm of peak torque quite powerful quite zippy makes this car perform really very well let's see how the car drives right now All right guys so talking about the audio quality in this car I already mentioned we have the massive Sony subwoofer at the back as well as a blong point amplifier somewhere in this car let's now take a listen at the audio clip now And so guys that was the audio quality in this car absolutely amazing let's get driving straight away now All right guys so driving the Elite i20 straight away let's start with the steering now the steering on this car is extremely light and you can literally turn the steering with a single finger this makes the car really easy to drive in the city but the flip side is this steering does not give you any confidence while driving on the highway a lot of people have criticized the i20 by calling it a boat and saying that it handles like a boat and while this is true if you push the car really hard and fast through corners on the highway If you drive the car like it's meant to be driven sedately in the city this is actually a really good car to drive the controls are light and easy to use the gearbox shifts smoothly and the gears slot in really precisely the clutch is nice and light to operate and you really feel good while driving this car visibility is great all around you get a good view from the front the rear view mirrors also give good coverage of what's behind you and you get an integrated reverse camera in the rear view mirror and that's a really cool feature of the older Hyundai cars Talk about the ride handling balance. Now the car rides quite well. I mean the suspension is really quiet and absorbs bumps quite well. Handling however is a different story. The soft suspension and the unfeelsome steering mean you need to have nerves of steel if you want to drive this car really fast on the highway and that's something I don't recommend. While the car is quite stable, the steering does not give you the confidence and the soft suspension too makes the car bob quite a bit at high speeds. And overall I will not recommend driving this car really hard and fast. But then again, that's not what this car is meant to do. 
it's meant to be a good city car and that's something it does really very well moving to performance so this i20 is powered by the 1.2 liter kappa engine producing 82 bhp and 150 nm of torque and the numbers speak for themselves i mean the car is adequately powerful and yes while you would love to have more power this car does not require it and if you're going to drive this car in the city 82 bhp is more than enough to keep you going quite happily all right guys all set to go which means turning off the air conditioning putting the vehicle in first gear we do not have any traction control and let's go I feel the Elite i20 is a good little city car and faces a lot of hate by being called a boat. Now, the people who call this car a boat are comparing this car to other good handling cars like for example the Swift and the Polo. Comparing this car to let's say a Polo or a Swift, yes, the steering is not that feelsome and you don't get that handling prowess and finesse while driving this car fast. However, the flip side is the i20 has a much better ride quality than both the Polo and the Swift. and that i feel is a good trade off for people who just want a comfortable city car and not a car that handles very good and handles fast around corners personally i feel every car has their pros and cons and personally i feel this car has a good ride quality plenty of features and a very good city driving experience and this will suit people who want exactly that personally i also feel this generation of the i20 the elite i20 is the best looking i20 of all of them The second generation car, the Elite i20, is styled with the perfect balance of sportiness and elegance, and overall is a really good-looking package. So, should you buy the Elite i20? Well, used examples are available for as low as four to five lakhs, and at this price point, I feel you should consider the i20 as against a brand new Alto or a Quid. Yes, those cars are new cars, obviously. However, a used i20 is much more luxurious, has more features. performs better backed up by a strong brand like Hyundai with proper sales and service network and more importantly is a much safer car than either an Alto or a Quid and so guys that's my review of the Elite i20 i hope you guys really enjoyed this if you did give the video a thumbs up and take a second to subscribe also a massive thanks to my buddy Nikhil for giving me this i20 for review and if you see a white i20 around Anandnagar with a stick at the back you know who's behind the wheel that's it for now i'll see you next video really soon take care bye bye drive safe